Okay, so now we are going to create a program that will connect the ESP.NET web application to the database. Okay, first, we will create tables in SQL database. So make sure you already installed the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio like this. Okay, and then you have also Visual Studio uh 2010 uh version up that's a 2013 2015 and so on okay so now i will create one table here i will uh i will create one database name student information for example student information db okay so you can see here student information db will be here okay next is i will create one table okay the column of this one is for example um student id i will put here in barcar in barcar is the string okay i'll put here first name in barcar like uh, for example I will put here like uh, 100 string uh, price, the last name, and bar card. Then this one, 100 also, or 60 only. It's okay. Okay. Then, uh, for example, here. Okay. Then uh, we will put here integer okay okay now uh, we will put here as uh, primary key so you just click this one set as primary key it means the unique number okay so this is the field which is four fields student id first name last name and year okay so i will save this one i will put this one as a uh, registration only okay registration okay we'll go here in the tables as you can see the registration table is already there okay so now we'll go back to our visual studio this is our Visual Studio 2015. You can use also 2010, 2013, 2015, or 2017, the latest one. Okay. So it's depending on what you are going to use. But the coding is almost the same. So now we are going to focus on how to connect the database. Okay, how to connect this web application to our database. So first, we will create one application or one project here. Right click, uh, file, new project. Okay. Okay, I will browse the... Okay, I will browse the, the destination folder. So we will create here in the desktop is ESP net project okay i will put here uh, student formation system for example then we will use here the web application use the c sharp as you can see here more uh, programming language this is there is a Visual C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp, C++, uh, Python, uh, JavaScript also. So use this one, C Sharp, then click the web, then select the uh, ASP.NET web application. Okay, So we will put here as project is student information system. Okay. Then, okay. Then select empty. We will use the empty uh, web form, okay? 
so we will click here web form then okay then cancel this one it will be continued okay so as you can see here this is your project okay this is your project and we will create a connection string to your database okay how to create a connection string to your database so i will create one form here okay i will create web form right click how to create a web form right click the project new add new item i will create here web form okay i will create here uh, for example connect the database also i will put here default default that espx default as that the espx this is the first uh, form that read by the web application it's like the index okay, okay so as you can see this is the web form there is a design and there is a source if you click the split it will be show the to the code or the behind code and the front end so i will go here in the design okay i will create here a, a table okay for example i will put here the username i will do like this i will add new one i will merge okay. log in page I'll put here username, last name, uh, username and password. Okay. Okay. Then, or this one is I will create is registration. I will try registration form. We'll put here like uh, what do you call this one? Uh, student ID. First name. We'll put here like this. We'll add new or below row. Another one. This is the last name. Then here, okay. Here is a first year, second year, third year, up to fourth year, okay. So I will put here uh, like this. We will put here text box, okay. I will copy this one, okay. I will add one column, a row. I'll put here uh, two buttons. Okay. Okay. Now we will change the okay. I will change the uh, the name of the text box okay in the id we will put here txt student id as you can see txt first name as you can see every word the fir the big uh, the first letter will be uh, uh, capital letter okay txt last name it's depend on you how you will uh, create a name on that one txt here okay then here button will be btn uh, save here is btn uh, for example uh, save and then delete I will copy this one. We will change this one as BT and update. Okay. 
or no need to update or okay btn save and delete we'll change the text of this one this is delete and this is the save okay i will put uh, i will put one button here click is new if you create new record you will click the new record okay btn okay so now our purpose now is to create uh, to connect only this form to the database so this is the i will create one row here button i will to check on lead if it is connected okay connect btn connect so one i will put here connect to database If I click this one, there is will there will be a message that you are connected. Okay, so the message will be come here in the LDL message. Okay, so how to connect this form to our database? To connect this one is like this. We will go to here in the web uh, first. Okay, we'll close this one. Uh, no, no. Save. Yes. First is right click properties. Okay. We will use here pipe 4.5. Okay. 4.5 dot net framework. It's depend on your dot net framework. Okay. So now I will select 4.5. Okay, then yes. And close this one. Go to web con config. This is the best practice how you will put the connection string to your web application. There are many way, ways to, to do this one, but this is the best practice. Okay, open this one, the web config. Okay. Then We will go here, okay, in the, this one, after system.web, okay. So, we will put here connection string, okay. Then, I will put here add name, okay, we will put here student connect okay then connection string okay we will put the connection string here then provider which is system okay dot uh, data dot sql client okay this is the code but what is the connection string we will put here the connection string how to get the connection string okay i will go to the desktop okay i will remove this one first so that you will know how to uh how to get the connection string so right click new notepad okay now open the notepad file save as we'll put here connect that u d l okay u d l it means to connect to our database so this is the the u d l right click okay okay u d l will be this one instead of notepad right click Open with with the OLEDB core services. Okay. I will open this one. I will go to provider. Okay. I will go to provider. 
next okay i will select the server name the server name will be automatically get here if you don't know the server name you will type okay the server name will be here this is the server name okay it00jplp this one the server or sql server so here automatic this one okay we will use this one use nt integrated security okay no password then select here the database which is student information db okay test connection succeeded okay so how to get the connection string right click open with notepad okay as you can see already here this is the connection uh, string okay to get that one copy here up to here in integrated only okay from integrated to last copy control c all right tick copy go back to your web application which is config paste here okay okay so the code will be this one okay this is the code next control or save here okay. close that one go back to your uh, form now as you can see in the design there is a connect to the database but we will create one class okay so that you can use this one in any form so i will create one class so that it will be reusable okay reusable classes Okay, so how to create a class? Okay, this is very important. Okay, you need to follow because the code is almost the same. Okay, so right click here. Okay, add new item. We will click here the code. Okay, we will use, uh, we will select the class. Then we will put here connection. The name of the class is connection okay dot cs okay i will add connection dot cs is already here now this is the code we will add here using system dot data dot sql client okay because you are using we are using uh, sql or ms sql if you are using my sql this is my sql here now next is okay this is the the class name we will create here a variable okay public like sql connection we will put here uh, not like this we will create a public string connection connection str for example okay so then we will put here a private we will use this one private so that it can be used here only okay zero private we will put here sql connection we will put sql con okay. private I will use SQL command. We will put here SQL com. Okay, private SQL data adapter. Then SQL DA. Okay, private data set. Okay, up to here only. Because we will use only here the connection string. So this one will be, I will remove this one first. Up 
constructor here only. Okay. Next, we will create a constructor. Constructor is the design name of your class. Okay. Public connection. Okay. Connection. We will put here string con. Okay. Okay. Then con. Okay. Con is tr. This one will be equal to con. Like this. Okay. Next, another public connection. Okay. Here we will put the connection stream. Okay. Now, we will put here con str. Okay. Which is this one. Equal here. Configuration. See, as you can see, there's no configuration here. We will add the reference. Okay. Okay. Right click here. Add reference. Just add here. System configuration. Okay. It's already here. System configuration. We will add only in the upper part here. Okay. We will use here like uh, using system dot configuration. Okay. Now we will put here configuration. Configuration manager. Okay. Dot connection stream. Okay. We will put here the connection, the name of the connection. What is the name of the connection? We will go back here in the web config. As you can see, we will put here the name of the connection is student connect. So I will copy. Then paste here. Control V or paste. Yes. This is it. Okay. Connection string is already. So this one is in the web config so you are calling the connection string in the web config okay so now now we will open the connection string okay how to open the connection string so that you can use this one in any classes or any form that you are using okay to open that one we will put a uh, variable uh what you call this one a class okay we'll put uh, a method public okay public we will call here void date da connect date access connect okay we will put here sql com So we will put here the variable, another variable, which is uh, private SQL command, SQL com. Okay. Then we'll put here SQL com that or equal to new SQL command. Next is SQL con. This is SQL con equal to new SQL connection, which is the connection str. Connection str is this one. Okay. Next, SQL con dot open. Finish. So you are already open the connection string. How to close the connection string? So public void da close. SQL con dot close. So question why we are creating this class? Okay, this class is reusable. This is very important. Okay, this is fixed or not 
fix but you can use this code already this is the code if you know this one you can use in any form okay how to call okay how to call this class to here okay we will create we will click the connect to database button okay so you can see there is page load we will put here not page is post back okay this is default or this is the code so that the post back will be triggered here it is not page post back we will come into inside here okay next how to call this connection so we will put here in the declaration okay we will create instantiation or uh, object what you call instantiation so instantiation is calling the the class it's like this connection name of the class we put here ms mc l s d a this is the variable or the object is equal to new connection finish so connection string is already called so how to check if it is connected so we will use the try catch okay try catch exception ex then what you call finally this is zip. okay maybe we'll put here mclsda.da connect if it is connected it will come here inside so we will put here lbl message that text okay put here your form your web form is connected to database else here lbl dot text is equal to ex dot message you can change the message of this one because this message is from the computer or from the system you can use here like this your connection uh, you are failed to connect to database finally mcl just day a close so you can see if you call this one okay this is the instantiation or the object if you call de connect where is the de connect here this is the de connect right and this is the de close where is that one here de connect finish you are already connected here you already close the connection you need to close the connection every time you are using that one after finish the transaction of the program you need to to call the close connection okay so we will try we will try if it is connected or not okay so we will run this one click this one we will see what is the pro okay there is invalid language version okay so this is very simple go back to your web config Okay, in the web config, change this one language version 2.5. Okay, because we are using the .NET framework 4.5. Okay, run again. We will save first. Okay, then run again. See, as you can see, this is the, the form. Now, we will click the connect button connect to database button if the database is connected successfully okay your web form is connected to the database now we will change the 
we will change the the message you are successfully connected like that if you run again then if you click this one you are successfully connected now how to know if you are not successfully connected we will try to we will try to change the connection string we will try to change this one we will remove this one db so it means there is no student information database so we will try to run again then connect as you can see there is error as you can see it's not connected because there is error okay as you can see here student information requested by login it's not connected as you can see here instead of going here it's already failed from there from here okay So, if it is failed, automatic, it will not connect. See? It will not read the message which is not connected. So, there is error. Because the system is assuming that this is database which is not found. Okay, so we will, again... We will try again here. The web config, we will change again the database, which is student DB. Connect the database. You are successfully connected. Okay, so I hope you learn how to connect the database to your or how to connect the web application to your database. So this is the steps. First, create a table or the database. Okay, next is create a web uh, project. This one. Then create a web form. Then, okay. Then create a web uh, in the web uh, create the this one classes. Just follow this one. This one just follow. This one is in the web config. Okay, here only put this code into your web config. Okay. Then this one to get this one you will use the UDL. I hope you understand in the the, that one then this one is reusable okay we can use that one anywhere in your web form then this is the code call the connection string then call the methods which is the e connect then the e close this one will be successfully connected so it means you are successfully connected if it is not automatic here it will be error Okay, so I hope you understand. Just follow this one and you will connect it. You will be connected. Next, the next video, okay, the next video will be the save. We will save the data, this one, to here in the database. It will save here. Okay, so just follow the, uh, just click the, just subscribe to, to our channel so that you will get uh, the step-by-step -step 
to create uh, how to create a web application with database okay just click the bell okay the bell uh, notification so that if there is new update because the next update is how to save the data from web to your database so i hope you will understand so just subscribe so that and share so that you will uh, we can have more uh, followers on this one okay thank you